please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up Raptors? Today is Friday, day May 31st. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. There's only a couple more class periods until the break, so make sure to make every moment count. You guys got this. And to all the 6th and 7th graders, good luck to the rest of your journey in middle school. And to all the 8th graders, good luck in your long journey of high school. Now on to the daily news. James, but before that, I wanted to say thank you for a wonderful 2023 through 2024 school year. I am truly grateful to have been a part of your almost everyday life this year. And lastly, this is Raptor News Girl signing off. Goodbye Raptors. Now on to the daily news. James Monroe, 2024 Student of the Year. One of the sixth grade student of the years is Lydia Tonks. Here are some words from her teacher. Lydia is a great student and is totally deserving of being student of the year. She collaborates effectively with her peers, stay focused on task, and consistently produces high quality work. One of my favorite qualities about Lydia is her willingness to share when given the opportunity. In addition to this, she always politely greets me upon entering my classroom. And Lydia is always on task, friendly, helpful, and willing to work with any of her peers. Congratulations, Lydia. The other 6th grade student of the year is Aditya Joshi. Some words from one of his teachers is Aditya is a good student and is deserving of being student of the year. He always shows diligence and dedication in completing his assignments, has great attendance, and is respectful. In addition to this, he always goes above and beyond in the terms of work. Congratulations, Aditya. One of the 7th grade student of the years is Konrad Mistalski. Here are some words from one of his teachers. Conrad, I am so proud of your growth that you have made this year. You have shown determination, drive, passion, and depth of knowledge in the kitchen. You are insightful and try to be kind and understanding teammate. Things may not always go your way, but you are working to move through those difficult moments with your understanding and reflection. Your love for learning is inspiring and makes my teacher's heart happy. I hope you carry that with you throughout your life and continue to grow and push yourself. Congratulations from Ms. Olson. The other sixth grade student of the year is Taman Nguyen. Here are some words from your teachers. Tan is a self-motivated, hardworking student who is kind to everyone that comes across her way. I had no doubts about nominating her for student of the year. She deserves it and I wish her luck going forward from Mr. Pond. Taman is a kind and hardworking student. Each and every day, Taman began the class period by saying good morning and never left my class without saying, have a great day, Miss Young. I will truly miss seeing Taman's smiling face each and every day from Miss Young. One of the eighth grade student of the years is Daisy Vasquez. She is kind and helpful. She has overcome any obstacles that she has faced over the years to become an outstanding student and community member. Daisy is the embodiment of what it means to be a Raptor. From Ms. Allred. Another 8th grade student of the year is Abigail Edwards. One of her teachers said, This student is an exemplary student who consistently demonstrates outstanding academic achievement, leadership, and dedication to her education. She has had a 4.0 all three years at James Monroe Middle School. She's kind and patient with her friends and classmates and demonstrates what it means to be a Raptor. Congratulations, Abigail Edwards. And lastly, Khalil Hudson. Some words from his teachers are, he's a standout student who models what being a James Monroe Raptor means. He always has a positive attitude, perseveres, and is willing to help others. He's an excellent leader and friend. His determination, creativity, and generosity make him a well-deserved recipient of the Student of the Year Award. Congratulations, Raptors, and have a wonderful summer. Raptor Verses by Andrew and Brighton. Today, we will be getting students' opinions on the end of the school year. What's your name? Mateo. What grade are you in? Uh, six. What was the, your favorite part of the year? That I met Mario. Hi! 
Are you excited for seventh grade? Uh, yeah. Why? Because I'd be more older and mature and knowing more uh, about the school. What's the most intimidating part about seventh grade? Oh, well, I'd say how the questions could be harder than six and um, like meeting new people. What's your name? Mario. What grade are you in? Uh, six. What was your favorite part about sixth grade? I'm the main character. Are you excited for uh, seventh grade? Yes, I am. Why? Um, because it'll be a new experience. It'll be nice. Do you think seventh uh, grade will be intimidating, and why? Um, no, I do not think it'll be intimidating. I think it'll be fun though. All right. Thank you. Toodaloo, Raptors. Mira Santi, and the question is. What are you doing this summer break? Um, I'm gonna go on vacation. I'm here of rain, and the question is, what do you expect this summer? Um, to go to Cliffs a lot. Electives. This week's elective is web development. What's your name? Kyle. What grade are you in? Seven. Why did you choose web development for your elective? Why did you choose web development for your elective? Because it's fun and you get to know stuff. Okay. What is your favorite thing you have learned in web development? What is your favorite thing that you've done in this class? Played Lego Fortnite. Why is that your favorite thing? Because you get to play games. Would you recommend this class to others? Why? Would you recommend this class to others? Yes. Why? Because it's fun and you should do it. Admin updates with Kaylana. Here you go. Hey Raptors, hope you guys have a good summer. And for all you 8th graders, uh, good luck in high school. We're going to miss you. Make sure you guys are doing some summer reading, getting outside, getting some sun. Be safe. Have a wonderful summer. We're gonna miss you eighth graders. Do good next year. Show them what James Monroe is really about. Have good behavior. Bye Raptors. Have a great day Raptors.